Okay, this is what we got this morning. I told this guy on Thursday to clean the coil, and it's not clean. And here it is Monday. And what do I got? I got a I got a condenser with no refrigerant in it. So that's a Goodman from 19. I don't even know if it's got any enough in there to Like that fan control is leaking. I hope. Let me get some stuff. I hope it's right here. See no bubble in. Maybe it's drifting from the other side. That's gonna suck. See any bubbles? to
pressure I got going on in here. I don't even know who set this up. It looks like garbage. Got pressure. Got pressure. <clears throat> Thirty PSI. kind of pinpoint this leak and find out where it's at. The pressure switch is barely on there. Barely. Junk switches. I mean I just give it a little tweak and that was came right off. Let's see if I got a T to go on there. Some nylog on there. Don't like. I don't like all that blue goop on there. Whatever they call it, leak lock. This stuff works better. is going to go. And if I put the switch here. Got to stay out of the way of the suction line there. Us right there. All right, so now I got the fan switch disconnected for right now. I got to get this thing charged up. Uh, I'm gonna go for a 10 sub gluing. She was absolutely freaking empty. Let me get this thing charged up. Well, it's a piston. I thought it was a TXB. But, we're going to leave it right there. We're going to leave it right there. I don't have any humidity, so that super heat's going to be... Should be good. More 10A. We're going to hook that fan cycling switch back up now. Fan 
because I hate them. I hate them. So all we're gonna do is put you in the mud. All we're gonna do is break. Break one leg of the fan. The fan. This is what they had before. You can see what I'm talking about. For the time being, I just took the fan wire. And where did this thing come up? This little hole right here, I guess. I'm gonna find a little black wire I had. So we're just breaking. Oh, where's my, we're just breaking that. Uh, breaking that leg. This goes here. Tidy up my connections here. Give them a little twist. So now the power comes out here, down here, through the fan cycle switch, back up to the fan, which is this one. It's for cold weather operation because we're working in a working in a you know he needs cold weather operation. Alright, let me get everything off here, but here, I'll, I'll start it back up for you guys right now. Ow! Let's do this kind of... Right now it should be fine. Unless the fan switch failed. And it looked like it did. Look at that crap. Fan switch failed. Oh no, it didn't. There you go. It shouldn't be cycling right now. Well, it's about 70 degrees outside, but it shouldn't be cycling. I don't even know what that switch is set at. That's in a pole barn. That's part of a grow room. There's three different rooms. Um, whoever set this thing up is just complete, uh, complete jackass. That, you know, we started up and you seen the fan didn't start. I'm like, well, why isn't the fan starting? They got a stupid switch on there set for 400 close. So the thing ramps up to 400 PSI before the fan turns on. So obviously, that's not right you know you don't want you don't want your system running up to 400 psi that should be like a, a 250 250 um you know you got to get the head pressure up to 250 to close the switch to turn the fan on this one's set at 400 it's ridiculous um and i think i think the open, the open on that was like, I think it was 300. So that fan was, I mean, it's, right now it's, 
75 degrees out, that fan should just be running full bore. So I am going to go back and put some head pressure control on that one. And then I got another one with the same situation that I found out. So I need a head pressure Turn control for that. Traffic light. Other tech that works with us, he already changed the other one over to head pressure control. So I got two of them I got to do, which they're just going to wrap me up. And the other condensers are just plain out freaking dirty as, you know, filled with cottonwood. So, yeah, we see a lot of this hodgepodge stuff up here. Uh, put it together, get it done, let's put it that way. Because everyone, you know, not everyone, but seeing a lot of these guys that have these grow houses, Two miles. Uh, right on by they try to do it on the cheap. Which is understandable, you know, because you gotta start making money. Um, but what are you gonna do? I'll be there to repair it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a head pressure control, get everything the way it should be, and uh, then we'll go from there. That's, uh, that, was, that was the first call Monday morning, you know, leak on a pressure switch it had no refrigerant in it at all we had to charge the thing up with like five pounds of refrigerant so costly costly um, you know it's a costly uh, repair kind of you know you got all that refrigerant my time service call <coughs> so we are off to the next one you guys know what you need to do like and subscribe uh, if i could stop sneezing i'll see you on the next one